We got our last stand-up comic of the evening. She's super fun. She's super great. Super funny. You are going to love her. Please welcome Karen Pickering. Thank you guys. This is so much fun. Oh my god. I can't. There's so many of you. Oh my god. This is so wild. Okay. I am going to tell you. I have to say this right away. I, I could have been your lunch lady. <laughs> seriously, seriously, no one ever believes me, but School District 196, Rosemount, Apple Valley, Eden. <laughs> ah, there's my people, love you. I was the food service manager in the district that brought back Italian Dunkers people. Who had moved from Boston 
Went to Woodstock and left for 10 years, so I went out there to school, came back to the U. Follow me, follow me, because it's really hysterical here. This is what gets fun. So um, I end up back in Minnesota, and um, people in my family get addicted to everything, whether it's alcohol, junk food, or whatever. And a certain branch of my family, this happened to your parents, some of them, they get, became addicted to scrapbooking and shit. <laughs> oh, God. And for my 40th birthday, I got a scrapbooking thing from my childhood on home. And in it was all this stuff that I had done in radio and comedy. And I had never told my kids. Yeah, so they opened it and they went, oh my God, there's an article in here from the Star Tribune. The year 19,000 and uh, 1952, Ma. This is great. This is great. Ma, you should go back to comedy because my kids are geeks. The only thing is they know. They're geeks. They wanted me out of the damn house. Go be a lunch lady and then go do comedy. So this is why I'm here. Do I have time for one joke? Do it. Yeah. Okay, do it. I'm just going to tell you this. When you go home, how many of you going home for the holidays, whether it's the Merry Merry or the Hanukkah Hanukkah, or the Hanukkah I'm going to tell you something. When your parents are empty nesting, be careful. The love come back in it, that comes back in their relationship. Don't do what my kids did. They moved together over from Hamlet to surprise us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Well, after they moved out, every piece of the house was sanitized in case Amore might happen. And I heard the garage door open December 23rd last year. We were in the kitchen, close together. <laughs> Next, I heard the key, and I heard the little cherubs going, I wonder where they are, I don't hear any noise. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, the door opens, and I'm grabbing the body paper towel, and we're wrapping up our body parts together. <laughs> the little girl is six tall, there's a lot of paper towel. And the kids are like, what the hell happened in here? And I said, we're going to a toilet party, here's some, go. <laughs> Thank you.